In the past, we've looked at division examples where we divided 12 cookies among friends. When we divided them among four friends, we found that each friend received three cookies. When we divided them among three friends, each friend received four cookies. In both of these cases, our division worked out perfectly. Each person received their share of cookies and none were left over. They divided evenly. In other cases, the division doesn't work out so perfectly. For instance, what if we had five friends to divide the cookies among? Well, we could split them into five groups of two. So each friend would get two cookies. But we notice that there are two cookies left over. What does it mean if we can't divide them evenly and we have leftovers, or remainders? What do we do with the two remaining cookies? We could write our division answer as 2 with a remainder of 2. Or we could consider breaking down those whole cookies into pieces. So what happens if we crunch up the remaining two cookies into a bunch of crumbs? We could then divide the crumbs into five little piles and share them among our five friends. So, we could write our answer as 2 and 2 over 5. That is, each friend gets two whole cookies and we still have to divide the two broken cookies among our five friends. So we still have to divide those pieces by five. So there's two ways of answering the question, and both are correct. Did you want to consider the two leftover cookies as remainders and just leave them aside? Or did you want to consider the possibility of breaking those remaining two cookies into pieces and dividing those pieces among your five friends? Both are legitimate answers. Let's look at a couple of examples. Example 1. 9 divided by 4. How many times can 4 go into 9? Well, we know that 4 times 2 equals 8. And 4 times 3 equals 12. Now, 12 is too much, so let's go back to 4 times 2. So we have 2 as part of our answer, and 9 minus 8 is 1. So we can say 2 with a remainder of 1. The other way of writing our answer would be to say that we were able to break it down into two whole numbers with a remainder of 1, which still has to be divided by 4. Example 2, 14 divided by 3. How many times can 3 go into 14? Pause the video and try to answer this. 3 times 4 equals 12. So we can say that 3 goes into 14 four times, which leaves a remainder of, think about it, right, 2. So we could say that 14 divided by 3 equals 4 with a remainder of 2. The other way of describing this would be 4 with a remainder of 2, which still needs to be divided by 3, our original divisor.